it's Miss Jones. I was gonna do an art activity at home today. I'm gonna do it later with Tucker and Zoe. I didn't know if you wanted to do it with me, so I figured I'd post it on YouTube, and if you wanted to follow along or watch it and do it later, you could. So here we go. Before we get started, I wanted to show you an example of what we're gonna be making today. So we are going to make a background for your toys, action figures, dolls to play in front of. Again, this is just my example and you do not have to have yours look anything like mine at all. Um, but I kinda wanted to give you a heads up of what we're doing. Let's do it. first thing that we're going to do is gather up our materials. So the first thing that I'm going to need is a box. This can be a cereal box or a snack box. Whatever you've got in there, if there's still some stuff in there, just pull the bag out and you can have the empty box. I'm sure that your grown-ups won't mind too much. So empty box. You will need some scissors because we're going to be cutting the box out or open in a specific way. And then we will need markers or crayons. Doesn't matter if they're Crayola, whatever you've got, I'm sure will work fine. And for you big kids that are super particular about the way that your things look, I know that you're gonna wanna do it with a pencil first because you always ask your pencil in class. So if you wanna do a pencil sketch of it first and then make it a little bit more permanent, this is your tool. There you go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have right now just the box and the scissors and we are going to cut it open um, and we're going to start by cutting off the top part here. So we're just going to cut off the flappies. Then we're going to take the box here and cut it right down the middle. Sorry, I keep looking over my shoulder because Mr. Jones is outside working on our chicken coop. And then I've pawned the kids off to keep them quiet. Zoe is in her room watching YouTube, not me. So soon she'll be watching me, right? And Tucker is in there playing Fortnite. So we have cut, I've cut this part here, and then I'm cutting the bottom of the box here so that it will fold open. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. We are gonna be making a landscape background for your toys. So if you want to use Barbies or LOL dolls or GI Joes or Fortnite action figures or whatever you've got, you can customize this to fit your background. And it's pretty cool because it stands up on its own and then you can fold it. You can even keep some of your toys in there. You can put a piece of tape on here. You can make it kind of whatever you want. So I'm gonna do one example. I'm going to let Zoe do one and I'm gonna let Tucker do one. I'm sure they will be quite different and I'll post all of those pictures and I would love to see what you do also. So whenever you are finished with yours, snap a picture of it and put it in the comments and um, then I can see it. I'm super excited. Okay guys, so this is gonna be a little bit difficult because I do not have my camera thing that I use at school. Um, I literally am gonna hold it with one hand and make do. So bear with me if it's a little shaky. So um, I was trying to figure out what kind of background I wanted to do for mine. And since I love Super Mario Brothers, shout out to you, Sean and Ethan. I know you're gonna love this, um, but I'm gonna do like a Mario Brothers themed background here. So here we go. I'm gonna start by doing some of the smaller little hill shapes or cactusy shapes that they have in the foreground. And then on this side, we're gonna do some of the little 
step ups. So here's where our little guys will jump up on here. Okay, so we've got that. Um, if you want to do a little tunnel, feel free. Now, we're gonna move on to the next layer back, which is gonna be the bushes. And if you need to pause me at any point, just do that. Not a big deal. Okay, we're gonna do on this side, some more of these little hills. Then we're gonna do some mountainy shape. As Bob Ross would say, we're gonna put a happy little mountain right here. I know how much I love Bob. We can do another tunnel. Now this tunnel is in the background way back here. So it's gonna be smaller than this guy because he's farther away. Some of us have been talking about um, perspective and how whenever things are farther away they look smaller so that one's gonna be smaller back there and there's a bunch of blank space up here so we'll go ahead and put some of those little weird hills back here and again they're big but they're way back there so they look smaller and then we're just gonna do some clouds What do you think, friends? How's that for our outline? All right, guys, we're gonna start with our coloring. There's gonna be a lot of green, given that it's Mario, and a lot of um, the surrounding here is green. Um, in the pictures that I was looking at, like everything was green in different shades, and there were just different patterns on different things. Um, I am probably gonna mix it up a little bit so it won't look exactly like Mario, but um, you can color yours however you want. Please don't think that you have to color it the same way that I'm coloring it just because I'm the one on the video. So um, I am going to do these um, with a green pattern. Oh, having said that, so once I'm doing a green pattern on it, I wanna start with my lighter color. I'm gonna color the whole thing yellow. So I'm coloring using the same stroke all the way around it. And then I'm gonna do different patterns on each one of these.
So I am gonna continue doing different patterns on each of the different um, sections. I am not gonna make you watch me do the whole thing. I am just gonna post a picture of my end product um, and talk about it for a second. Okay guys, I have finally finished. This took quite some time to finish coloring. Um, Tucker and Zoe have been working on theirs, but they are not quite finished. Um, I put them to the side. They look pretty cool. Theirs are completely different from mine, um, but I'll probably have to add that part of the video tomorrow because they wanted to take a trampoline break. So they're outside. Um, but I am gonna show mine right now and I hope you like it. I think it turned out pretty cool. It's completely different than the picture that I had looked at um, from Mario to um, duplicate kind of, um, but here we go. Ah! Okay, so I have a sun behind the cloud because Tucker and Zoe were like, where's the sun, you need a sun. So I went ahead and added a sun behind the cloud, which then broke up having a lot of blue sky in the background. Um, and it brought the uh, yellow from the bottom up to the top with those sunbeams. Um, I did a different pattern on each of the hills here and here and then over here. And then I did the um, bushes, the different layers of the bushes with the different patterns there. And then you can see I did orange on the bottom. And then my favorite part is these little cobblestones on the bottom, which I just did a bunch of big shapes. And then I went around the big shapes with medium shapes. And then anywhere I had empty space, instead of just having it blank, I added teeny tiny circles to make it look like little pebbles in between those big stones. And whenever they are standing up, it looks like a cobblestone ground. So, I can put this carefully. I can make it stand up. And then I can take the dolls and they can play and they can go visit Mario Land. Um, Barbie's probably a little big, but these little Fortnite characters look pretty cute sitting next to it. Um, maybe I can talk Tucker into setting this up in his room or something. I don't know, he might not want mine because his turned out really super cool or is turning out super cool. Um, I love these little Fortnite guys. Um, but if you um, want to do something completely different, like I said, I'm gonna show you Tucker and Zoe's later, which have absolutely nothing to do with what I've done here. Um, and you can make as many different variations of this as you want and post your pictures below so I can see them. Have a great day, guys. See you later.